I thought the uh, CNN deserves high praise. Wolf do, did a great job moderating this. The, I don't think there was a single question about process, maybe one. A lot of serious questions about national security. It was a commander in chief debate. And uh, I think I did pretty good. You do. So let me ask you a question. When you are trying to appeal to voters that uh, respect the idea of national security officials say that it's, you can't just ban Muslims from entering the United States. Right. And, and the response from the front runner is you got to be tough, you got to be tough. It's not toughness to do something that would be against our national security interests. Look, I can see why people would support that idea on the surface, but the simple fact is, how are we going to garner the international support to take out ISIS if the Kurds, who are Muslim, would be offended by this? Uh, the Jordanians will be offended by this. The Turks, the, the entire Arab world. Apart from the fact that you have the largest Muslim populations aren't even in the Middle East. They're, they're India, Pakistan, and, and Indonesia. We have to lead as a nation. The United States is not going to be a follower. We have to lead. And to, 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 to do this, it would be an unmitigated disaster. He knows that. He's, this is dog whistle talk. This is to try to get people who are fearful about where we are uh, to, to be latched on to him. But I think tonight was a good example of why he may not be the proper guy to be commander in chief. Were you surprised after he made his comment um, and you came out very strongly against him last week, what you called him unhinged, were you surprised that your fellow Republican candidates weren't as aggressive as, as you were? I don't know. Look, I, I, the politics of all this, I'm not an expert. I just know sometimes you have to take a stand. This country is a great country, an extraordinary country in every way. We're not a country of idiots. We're a country capable of leading and creating peace and security for ourselves and for the world. And we have to act that way. And I don't think that Donald Trump uh, understands that. He hasn't taken the time to grow. He's a, look, the guy's a gifted politician. He uh, sure is. I mean, he's gifted, but he's not. And what not. do you make of the fact that he keeps going up in the polls? I don't think it's going to continue. I honestly no? don't. No, I don't. I think, I think when you start thinking about who's going to sit behind the big desk, who has to make, who has to make tough decisions? The question of the nuclear triads is a really serious question. It relates to the fact that we have not invested in the long-term things uh, to keep us safe. And uh, I don't think he had a clue what, what the whole subject was about. You don't think he knew what a triad was? Nuclear triad? I don't think so. You don't, don't think know. so? What do you think? I'm not sure.